Daisy Lyle, all the way from Toronto. She is an author of these two books. Ta da! And she's agreed to talk to us on the BK Book Hall. Thank you so much, Casey. Oh, thanks for having me. <laughs> all right, so these are your two, two books. They are middle grade reader, yep. mysteries. All right, and we're excited for you guys to be able to read them at BK. And so, what is something that you have been recently reading? Uh, one of my most recent reads that I loved was a book called The Voyage to Magical North by Claire Fayers. And it's got um, lots of great fantasy elements to it, um, like evil penguins, and it's really funny. So I highly recommend that one. Right. And so if someone wanted to read your books, what, to the, what could they expect? They can expect lots of mystery and lots of jokes and a really great friendship between Howard and Ivy, the two main characters. That sounds great. So what is a book that you are excited to read in the next coming months? I am most excited to read The Gauntlet by Karuna Riazzi and it's one that they say if you like the movie Jumanji, you will love this book. So I can't wait to read that one. Right, I've seen the cover for it. It looks really good. It looks awesome. I'm going to go look more into that and see if we can get the copy of that at our library. So, hey, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. No problem. Thank you. All right, and have a great rest of TLA. <laughs> Thanks, you too. Okay, and happy book day, all. <laughs> And happy book day, y'all. Um, Megan here, and I'm with the BK Book Hall, and I'm here with Heather, who I just had a wonderful, amazing, awesome session with here at TLA 2017. Hi, Heather. Hi. All right, so, Heather, what is something awesome that you enjoyed reading recently? Oh, so I actually enjoyed reading Wish by Chris Barton. Um, Wish is a blue bonnet book, and it's on my list of readings to do, and um, it's a great book because it tells the story of um, Landon Johnson, Landon, Lyndon Johnson, Landon Johnson, sorry. Um, he is an inventor and he has invented something that I think kids all over love to use in the summer. It's because in Texas it's getting ready to be hot. It's a super soaker. Oh, I and, love the super soaker. Yeah, me too. And um, I loved it because the idea behind it is the super soaker didn't start out as a super soaker and he um, he's a scientist and you know, scientists start things and they don't finish things. and. One day he had this cool idea and it ended up as a super soaker. But it, it tells a good story of um, don't don't always, um, some of these things you start don't always end the way it, um, I guess you intended to for them to end. And he was squashed down. But the best thing about that story is the author, Chris Barton, got the idea um, talking to two librarians. Oh, that's fantastic. At a, conference, at a conference, I believe. So that's one of my books. Um, I just recently read One and Only Ivan, and it was, um, it's a story about, uh, Ivan is an, uh, a silverback, um, silverback, I guess gorilla, mm -hmm. that is captured, and it's a story written in verse, and it it's, looks like it's long, but it's short, and it's a story of um, how they communicate and the trials and tribulations of living in a, a box and then in a mall and ha and lots of innuendos like elephants remembering things and stories and then a little vis a little elephant comes to stay with them and Ivan starts to take care of him of the, uh, of her and how there's a little dog that's in the story and they all communicate but then Ivan saves the day and I'm not going to tell you the ending of it but okay. he saves the day um, really nice um, story and um, I believe it was a blue bonnet winner it's not a current book by uh, Yeah. There. Is that right? Yeah, I think so, yeah, because uh, Kate, one of our librarians, is one of her favorites. Yep, and then we just recently at my library, I'm at, from A.B. Cato Elementary in the Fort Worth, Texas area, um, we just had Jacqueline Davies as an author visit, and Jacqueline is uh, known for lots of books, but her most, I guess, prolific writing is about the Lemonade War series, and so that's on my list because she's written, I think, a series of seven books, and so that's on my stack of books is the first in the series, The Lemonade War, about kids that are going to um, have, there's money and challenges of um, selling lemonade, so that's mm -hmm. in my series of books, and as uh, a book that for, I guess, adults, I know this is the fourth one, but I always, um, I think of really good book is um, Simon Sen Senek has a good book start with why so I know that's a fourth one not a third one but um, I love it there's a good YouTube video that he talks about start with why I think as a kid or an adult you should always think about 
why you're doing things and what's the purpose and have a good reason behind it and you'll probably end up with good things to happen. That's really rad. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. I know that you are uh, pursuing your PhD right now. I am. Dissertation, so having a lot of time to read, mostly <laughs> journals and such. I am. So good luck to you in that. Uh, thank you for a wonderful session and thank you for taking the time to talk books with us here on the BK Book Hall. Thanks for having me. All right. Happy book day, y'all. Thanks. The BK Book Hall is part of the BK Public Library's podcast channel. It is produced and edited by Megan Fisher. Thanks to the friends of the BK Public Library for the donation of our podcast equipment. For more information, go to www.bktexas.com. Please feel free to email us or leave any comments and suggestions below. We'd love to hear from you.